Hello everyone, this is the next Vanheim part. Let's view the battle in the Misty Forest. What's going on up here? Oh, it's just Wolf Tribe. Yeah, nothing super exciting there. Just killed them. And then this is my... what is this? Oh, this is my prophet. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just... it's trash. My, my prophet does thankfully not get sniped, but I see he... that definitely could have happened. Um, and this is the province I got. So that's cool. Some strange events, water gems, and then... The, uh, some dogs popped up. But, I mean, there's just kind of like garbage. So, yeah. Um, Marignan claimed the throne of misfortune, so misfortune's everywhere. Um, we did actually get the shipwreckers. Which was very nice for me. Um, gonna be able to take this province and then a bunch of other underwater ones, which is great. Um, this is the political situation currently. So we can count precisely how many provinces Pythium has. And this is turn 11, mind you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Maybe he could get this, and maybe he could do this. I mean, I don't see any units here, but it's it's possible it could be cold enough that he could cross the the strait here and um, attack the archers here. I think I would probably still kill anything he brought, but he could potentially do it. More importantly, though, we have found Agartha um, over here in this corner somewhere. Uh, probably up here. At least that's what I was thinking at the time because all these provinces are caves. And Agartha tends to spawn in caves, being a race of troglodytes. So, that's a, that was a little concerning to me because I thought, oh, Agartha. You know, let's imagine I defeated Pythium. Agartha would have some pretty powerful tools to use against me. The magma children, especially. Uh, very irritating. Very difficult for me to deal with. Even with my magic weapons, bless. And down here, I bumped into uh, the frogs. And I can't cross this darn ridge to get down here to these Amazons. So End is probably going probably gonna to take that one. Um, and he's here in the caves, too. I think I told him to save this one for me. I, I don't know. We, I mean, we have an NAP. But, um, yeah, so expansion down here has been stifled. Uh, so I have to retreat my profit back to potentially take this one. Maybe End can't cross this river. Or maybe I can go over here and get these Lion Tribe. Probably should have gone there earlier. Because this is a very strategically important zone. It's the only bridgehead into Abyssia's narrow region. Uh, apart from over here. Speaking of Abyssia, you know, looks like they've had pretty decent expansion. They'll probably take this province uh, this turn. So I imagine, you know, they got a, a chunk of stuff. They're definitely not super tiny. Um, I'll be taking here, here, and here this turn. And I'm merely scouting around. I'm basically just looking for another independent province that I can take with these with this duo. What else would these guys do? Yeah, I mean, I could just like randomly throw them in to here, maybe. It just seemed kind of dangerous to do that. I'd rather go over here because I can, you know, draw the line of income from here, you know, over the ocean to here to here, all the way back to my capital, so I would still get the money for it. That's how I'm getting money from these provinces, is because there's a an ocean connection. 
and uh, even though this looks like a lake, it is it is labeled the Divine Ocean. Otherwise, uh, what's going on this turn infrastructure-wise? Building a palisade here, still building a palisade here. Nothing else going on in that front. I don't like that I have almost 1,337 gold stored. Uh, yeah, I really should. Maybe making these dwarves was too early. I mean, I say that, but I got an Earth 3, Death 1 dwarf, which is pretty dang lucky. You know, there's a 100% chance of getting a plus one in one of these paths. So let's say I got the Earth one. And then there's a 10% chance of getting one of these four. So, you know, 2.5% chance of rolling death. And uh, that's what I got. So not, not like a super incredible cross path, but it's cool, without a doubt. Um, I'm going to sight search with him because I want to get death gems early. Am I not getting one from here? No, this is just 10 gold. Yeah, anyway, I mean, I'm going to sight search with him for whatever that's worth. Probably, yeah, I probably should be making Van Heerses. Or at this point, at this point, I, you know, considering Van Jarls had blood one, maybe this is what I should have been recruiting. So that way I could start getting my. <clears throat> excuse me, my blood economy up. Start hunting for blood slaves. Because I have a lot of decent provinces to do that in. Like, you know, here there's 10,000 people. Um, this one's 7,000. This one's a lot. 10,000. Um, these ones, these three are okay. They're kind of close to the to the enemy position. That's a little dangerous. This This, this one's decent. Anyway, you know, some potentially good blood sites. Yeah, I probably should have stopped making dwarves at this point. I mean, they're nice to have. They research okay. Master Smith is obviously a great trait. You know, Earth mages are good. Earth 2 mages are good, but... Eh. Yeah, definitely in retrospect, getting these guys now would have been better. Or, you know, even a Vanna Draught, maybe. Could have been okay. Get some big air sight searching in. Because up to this point, I've not done any sight searching at all. I'm just exclusively focused on killing independents. Which I think is okay. But probably could have done it better. Um, is anything else of note occurring? This is my research. <laughs> um, nothing going on there yet. Um, yeah, this is what I'm recruiting. I'm taking the scout out of this throne and moving him down here. He will continue the construction of the palisades, and the elf will simply build a, a temple or a lab or something. I don't remember what I had him do. Um, sending in my scouts through Abyssia's territory, as well as Mikblin's territory. I'm kind of concerned he's going to take this throne. So I'm sending a scout onto it to give me some advanced knowledge of his units. Um, and also pushing scouts through Ermor. Not Ermor. Pythium. Uh, you know, similar. There's actually a fort going on in this province. Yeah, I guess I can see that. Pretty late. Yeah, pretty damn late. Uh should have been going up a few turns earlier, but also he's recruiting deer tribe archers. Uh, I guess the point is to, if we fight each other, the point is to assassinate my elves because they're range attacks. But I don't know. I I very very rarely, if ever, recruit like generic independent units only because they just kind of suck. They're just, like, not very good. And I think the Deer Tribe are especially kind of shit, even though they... even though I did get blown out over here when I... when I attacked them. I lost, like, 120 gold or something. Okay, this is the map situation. Video over.